Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Listen, I have had something on my mind here for a little while and I was just kind of curious to see uh, um, what was going on as far as EMFs or electromagnetic fields or frequencies, whichever you choose there. But, um, you know, EMFs have, have been in the, the topic of discussion for a long time and I was just kind of curious of the effects it has on me in my house. So I ended up a couple of weeks ago, I ordered this meter and I got it in the mail from Amazon and I uh, did some readings and whatnot. It's really easy to use actually, um, but I am still kind of learning on it. I've, I've been researching a little bit online as far as what the effects are and uh, the levels that you're supposed to be at and those sorts of things. And that varies uh, depending on which website you go on. It varies from uh, one volt uh, of exposure continually to 10 as a minimum. Um, and I even saw one that said 50. So I'm, you know, I don't know. I don't know. But, and I'm not claiming to be an expert in this in any way, that's for sure. But I just have been experiencing just, you know, lack of motivation. I'm still working right now, though. I'm working from home. I'm dealing with clients that I've had past clients that have come to me and said, hey, you know what? It's time for us to make a move. And so I will work with them 100%. And sometimes we have to do things digitally and you know show property online only and all that. But it's just kind of crazy, you know, we're, we're not locked down, but gosh, you can't even go to the beach. The beaches are closed, you know? So, you know, you got little, things make you feel, I haven't been to the gym in two months. And those of you who know me know the gym is a big part of my life. And uh, I made the mistake of not setting up a home gym here. So I have been just doing a whole lot of nothing really as far as working out and that sort of thing. So it kind of gets your head a little screwed up thinking about stuff. But hey, I want to show you this though real quick here before, uh, before I go any farther of some of the symptoms. This is kind of what got me going on this. So I pull up on this website. There's several different websites that you can go to to kind of see symptoms of EMF exposure. Some of these symptoms I absolutely have. Some of them I don't. Uh, but I just wanted to point them out here. So sleep disturbances, uh, insomnia, headaches, depression. Not Depression's not an issue for me, um, even though I haven't been to the gym. Uh, but no, that's not one. A tiredness and fatigue, yes, amazingly enough. Um, this other word here, dysenthesia, I can't even say that word, but a painful, often itchy sensation, nah, I don't really have that. Lack of concentration, sure, absolutely. Uh, changes in memory uh, could be some of that. Dizziness, no, not so much. Irritability, ha, just ask my wife on that one. Um, you know, that, that's definitely something. Uh, loss of appetite, well, not really. If anything, I'm gaining weight. Um, restlessness, anxiety, nah, not so much, but there is some uncertainty going on out there when we're ever gonna be able to come out of this. And so I think that has a factor, not necessarily the EMFs, but who knows. But those are just some of the, uh, of the, uh, ex uh, the, the exposure symptoms that you could possibly have. And yeah, there's, there's a few of them there. Now I'm sitting next to my router here. It's gonna be interesting as I walk you through the process here. I'm gonna show you the readings that I come up with. You know, like I said, some of them are saying one volt, uh, some of them are 10 exposure. Well, I'm sitting next to this and I'll show you the readings here in a minute when I run the test for you live uh, or, you know, in the video, I'll show you the numbers. And I'm sitting, you know, a couple feet away from it. So it's not, the full exposure limit is right up next to it. But there are some factors. I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna show you the cell phone Two, when you put the cell phone up and you're talking on it, see how many volts uh, are registering on my meter. It could be different for yours, or you know your phone may not put out as much as mine does. Um, but I'm gonna show you the microwave too. So if you are standing next to the microwave and you're heating something up, uh, I'm gonna just show you that. So you know, just I'm gonna go through the process here. I'm gonna step outside right now and I'm gonna show you what the readings are outside of the house. So it'll give us kind of a baseline of where you know actually no. Uh, EMS are there's some but the, the numbers will probably be pretty low so I'm gonna step outside I'm gonna pause this a couple of times as we go through it and um, I hope you enjoy it Thanks. all right guys so I'm outside now I want to get a reading for you outside kind of see where we're at for the purpose of this video we're going to use the um, volt setting on it so here you can change different things and uh, you got watts and milliamps and 
this is actually the volt setting it's on micro millivolts right now when it gets to over 2000 millivolts it will change to volts right now we're we're a real low setting here it's about 100 millivolts so as we get closer to electrical uh, frequencies it will rage it will raise i'm sorry so uh, anyways right now it's uh, you know it's real low it's pretty good we're safe outside and uh, about 70 you know under 100 millivolts which is really good so i'm going to step inside right now I'm not okay show you so now i'm back in the, the house here house. i'm at my computer or my uh my router location and you can see the numbers there it's still on volts and it is 14 average i'm going to slide it closer see how it increases now it's 18, 17, 18. See how it never goes up? Boy, you don't want your head in the middle of this whole situation. So this is my main router from Frontier. And then this is an extender. You know how you never have enough Wi-Fi in some parts of your house? So I, I had the bright idea, I'm going to buy an extender, not knowing what I was doing, actually. <laughs> so there you go. There's that. Now I want to show you something else here. I am going to unplug. First one I'm going to unplug is the main router. I'm going to unplug the, I've got a hub down there too to extend some different lines. So I'm unplugging all that. You can see how the number went down. Okay, now it's six, seven. It's still high though, really. You know, it's still, I mean, it's still up there. So I just want to show you a couple other things here to my phone. Okay, this phone puts out a lot of frequency too. So you can see the meter here. If I side it closer to the phone, it gets up to 15. So this whole area here is just bombarded with EMFs. I'm gonna take, unplug the phone, and see what happens. See how that went down? Now it's millivolts, and it's at five, 600. So, like I'm saying, this, this whole area here is just bombarded with radio frequencies. Now, if I plug the router back in, I'm gonna plug in the uh, wireless extension. Let's see if I can find the hole there, there. And then the hub, get that all plugged back in. Okay, so we're all fired back up here. The numbers are low. They're increasing, but they're still four. You can see that, oh, I got this angled right. Um, but once this turns blue, um, see how that's starting? To, that's trying to catch on right now too. It's it's not connected fully yet, but you'll see it when it does. You'll watch that number grow uh, exponentially. So it's it, it's still in the milliwatts now. It jumps. It's it's interesting how this thing works, and I'm still kind of learning it. But I know the frequencies are changing and whatnot. So you're going to see the the numbers vary quite a bit but you want to keep that number down below one i think honestly but uh you know uh i think that might be really hard to attain in uh in your standard american homes these days with all the other things going on but you can see the the light's still not blue this one's trying to connect but this one won't connect until this one. okay now that's blue so now this is going to connect it's see it's see how it increased now now it's at nine ten two it's interesting how this thing just flies all over the place. So that tells me that the uh, that the frequencies are definitely jumping around. This is still working. It hasn't connected fully yet. It's red. And let's see here. Once it connects, you'll see this go back up into the teens. Not super fast as far as connection go, but it's understandable. So I just want to keep this running just so you can see that light turn blue and see what this does. Now, it probably did, but it just hasn't shown blue yet because we're already at 10. There we go. Now we're blue, and we're at 10, 12, 11. Now, if I slide it closer, obviously, it's going to go higher, 16, 17. Isn't that crazy? Just a few inches, and it increases you know, by you know, 20%. So uh, then now I will plug the phone in and see what happens with this jumping. Now we're at six four. That that connects pretty quick. I don't think it's fully connected yet. It still says uh, the emblem on there. But we're at sixteen. We're at sixteen volts in this area right here. Isn't that wild? So I'm going to pause the video right now. I'm going to take you in and I'm going to show you 
um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get my cell phone okay. and I'm gonna turn so that on. I'm too. back here. I want to show you something that is just absolutely crazy right now. So I have the router turned off. I've got the phone unplugged. You can see the numbers there. They're still relatively high, and I think that's because my phone is right here on my desk. Uh, now I'm moving my phone away from the meter, and you can see how the it's going down. It's milliwatts or millivolts, millivolts. It's 600. Now I'm going to bring my phone near this and I'm going to show you what it does. Phone's coming in, coming in, coming in. Look at that. 25, 29 volts. Is that crazy? It's so high. You don't want to have this up against your head. I just know that's a fact. So I'll move it around here a little bit. You can see the number varying. I understand that, but you saw that 25. Okay, so now I'm going to just open the web page here and see what I can come up with. See how it's going up? 20, 30. <laughs> Is that crazy? Uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. So let me do this. Okay, now I'm going to turn my phone off. Phone is shutting down. It's still 25, 19, 11. Okay, it's going down. Well, there. Okay, so the phone's turned off. We're back down into millivolts. I just think that is amazing. These little things here, I don't think you should be having up against your head. I would recommend using some, either some earbuds. Uh, even a Bluetooth would probably be a lot better than, than what we're doing right now. So if I turn this back on, let's see if I can get this turned back on. <laughs> And let's see what happens to the number. Takes a minute for the Apple to connect to it. You can see my router's off back here. This is only cell phone. And we'll see what happens when this thing clicks on. You can see the numbers. Oh, there they go. It's starting to connect, I think. It's jumping to five there, 525. 37, 35, look at that, 35 volts just from the phone being turned on. I'm not even using it. I'm not going on any web pages right now. I know it's probably searching web pages because I have those open. 40, 39, that is my cell phone electromagnetic frequencies coming out of just my cell phone. I'm going to move the cell phone away from it. I'm going to put it over here by my computer and it drops. Now it's down into millivolts. It's probably about three feet away right now. Anyways, I just wanted to show you that. I'm gonna show you one more thing and then we'll call it a wrap. All right guys, so I'm back in the kitchen. Or I'm in the kitchen, not back in it. Um, I wanted to show you the microwave. So here we go, I've got this set on, uh, it's on millivolts. So that'll be our reading right now. It's 500 right now, millivolts, not volts, millivolts. So I'm gonna turn the microwave on. I put a cup of water in there just so that we're all good to go on that. Um, and I am going to put 30 seconds on there, start it up. Let's watch this thing jump. See how that jumped? 19, 20, 26, 27, 20. It's, it's pretty high. This is like my phone and I'm, I'm right up against it here. It's 27. If you guys can see that number, I hope so. I'm gonna step away from the microwave. You can see it go down as you step away. And it's going to shut off here in a second, and we'll see this number even go down lower. Watch this. It's still at... Look at that. Now we're back down in the hundreds of millivolts. So if that doesn't blow your mind, I don't know what does either, but just don't stand next to the microwave when you're heating something up. It just may be better for your health. Um, and how hard is it to step away from the thing? So I'm going to uh, clear this, go back in my office, and... Uh, Those are the numbers in my house? Um... I think this is a really good unit right here. If you want to check your own numbers, maybe you could look into getting something similar to it. You don't have to buy this specific model. Um, this one's manufactured by Latinx, and it is uh, HFB3G. That's the model number on it. So if you want, want to check it out on Amazon and maybe do your own research, but that's kind of what I came up with. I don't mean this to uh, put anybody in fear or be scared or, you know, time to get tinfoil blankets and wrap ourselves up and hide from it all because no we got to live and that's fine I'm just saying that the numbers are what they are and maybe you just need to be aware of it uh, worst thing is to be you know unaware of what's going on around you so anyways that's it uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I uh, hope you have a great rest of the day and we'll see you soon
Take care.